promising CD, but unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Williams to throw on second down. Over the middle here to Brown. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Operating from the gun. Williams over the middle to Smith. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Uh, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. 19, Tiger, 19, Tiger. 42 is the mic, boys, 42, 42 is the mic. Switch out, switch out. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this one complete to Reed. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Back to throw again. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Cole Holcomb. And the Commanders are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. But with this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard, they see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. They'll start this drive out on the ground. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. Another run for Brown on second down. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Back to throw. Rich. Flushed it. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Osa Odigi Zawa able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. He was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. We want it. Come to my world. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Now Williams on first and 10. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. It hasn't been the cleanest game for him, but there was a sign of improvement as he looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Operating from the gun, Williams escaped. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. 
And he goes down. Chase Young, his second sack of the night. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Looking to throw. Williams. This will be caught by Brown. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. His throw caught at about the five. Touchdown, Eagles! 16-yard touchdown. And the Eagles are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead, and now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because, as you noted, this is their chance to pile on the stats. If they got their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. The extra point splits the uprights, and that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And the Washington offense heading out. But not that any of the points would be needed, but CD, they've got enough time left here. They could definitely score on this drive, maybe even an ensuing drive as well if they really want to drive home this landslide victory. Yeah, we're certainly about to see just how aggressive they want to be here down the stretch. And what some coaches do is they try and meet it halfway, meaning they want to continue to run their offense, but they put in a lot of backups to do it and then tell the opposing coach, hey, I had to get them some work too. I can't just let them sit over on the sidelines all the time. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. To throw on second down. Rich. And a loose football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming. And, try and now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Here's a give to Brown.
Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Off the play fake, Rich. Got a man, it's caught at the six yard line. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. A huge play there for Washington. And even 40 yards. Even with the big lead here in the fourth, it still bombs away. And frankly, it's working. Why should they stop? Go ahead and keep firing away and gaining those yards. to throw. Rich. And that is caught. Touchdown Washington. A great play there. His first NFL reception goes for six. And the Commanders are closing in on a third straight victory to start the campaign. Uh, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. Takes it at the seven. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Looking to throw. Williams, complete. Smith has it. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. And he's got some space here. And he will bring this one back. It is a pick six for a Washington touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one, pays off with an INT and a return for six. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And out now come the Eagles. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Here's Williams. Throwing after the interception. 
eluding the pressure right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Second and six, just inside the 30. Back to throw. Will you throw? Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. An inside give, Brown. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Right back to Brown. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. 149 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Handing it off to Brown. There to stop him, Jawan Bentley. Here's second and nine. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. On the handoff, this is Brown. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Here's Brown, and oh, he's just gonna be short here, barely, maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Fourth down, Rich on the crossing route, complete. It's Peters. And the Commanders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I don't know about you, but I'm going to give them a little bit of credit for fortitude there. Fourth and inches, and they don't run the football. Normally, you just wedge your way through, fall forward, find the yardage. But they took a shot and put it in the air, and it paid off. Maybe they saw the defense overcommitting. A lot of confidence there, though, because even if they overcommit, you just want to make sure you get the first down. You throw an incompletion on fourth down there, they're going to second guess you the rest of the game. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So for the Commanders, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll return home next week to take on the Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they'll fall to 1-2. And, and they'll try to turn it around next week as they head to Atlanta for a matchup with the Falcons. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.